Hi everybody, it's David Boy Dogs Bus here. I just want to show you a couple of updates that we're doing to the bus. The first of which is we're installing a freezer. And the one I bought here is a freezer from a company called Vivo and it cost me £179. Now it seems to be quite a generic type of freezer. It's available under various different names. Perhaps the most well known one being Alpicool. Now this freezer is quite a big one. I'll just show you the inside of it so you can see what we're looking at. That's the inside of it. Removable basket, bottle stands and a smaller compartment on the end there. What we have on the front is an LED display where you can set the temperature and uh, see what's going on with the freezer. And this, it, I'm calling it a freezer but it can also be used for fridge and uh, choose a temperature to suit you but in our application we want it purely as a freezer and we'll be running at a minus 18 all the while now three power options it can be powered 12 volt 24 volt or 240 volt and we'll be going for the 24 volt option because that's what all the electrics in the bus are the power drain for it i will show you now what the startup cost of it is I'll show you my battery monitor if I can and that's what we're reading at the moment 27.5 volts with a charge of 0.3 amps so if I just turn the inverter on you will see it's gone up to 1.4 on start up and it will settle at about 0.7 amps then if I put the freezer on, and this is through the inverter, so there is the inverter overhead to take into account. So that's it on. That's the temperature at the moment. I'll set the temperature I want. Minus 20. And what it's drawing to do that, 2.1 amps so not power crazy I think we can cope with that bearing in mind that we have a kilowatt of solar and four 130 amp hour AGM batteries so I'm thinking that we're going to be quite all right for power wise with this as we also run our AC domestic fridge through the inverter as well So round at the back here, you can see the power input options there, and that's the fan running, trying to get it down to cooling speed, so it's not too noisy at all. And the temperature settings there. Also, conveniently with this one, it comes with a Bluetooth app, and it's the Alpicol fridge freezer app available on the play store or ios and because this is going to live under that bench and we won't be accessing it all the while it's handy just to be able to look on the app and see what the temperature is doing and you can also alter the temperature and settings if you'd wish to remotely and that can't be a bad thing can it so frozen food ice lollies and ice cubes we should be okay with this so where it's going to live is under this seat. We'll just move the cushion, take the lid off. And as you can see in here we've got plenty of room. Just keep my toolbox and a couple of other bits and pieces in here. And quite a lot of available spare space. So what I am going to do just to aid the cooling and airflow, I bought a couple of little vents and I'm going to install one down at the bottom here where the intake for the fridge is and one down this side to help the airflow through this storage box. 
So we're going to put one right here. Clean up around the edges of the silicon. Good gob of silicon around it again. And there we have it. That should really aid the airflow to help the freezer in the storage box. So that's it, the vents are in. One there, one there. All hoovered up. And here's the freezer, it's been on about oh, 20 minutes now. And we're down from 20 degrees to minus 11. So it doesn't take long, bearing in mind that it's empty as well. And there's what's happening with the power. So, negligible usage really and what we'll do now is get it into place and see what it's like so i've just turned the power off for the time being while i move it And what I will do here, I will secure some bungees around here just to stop it floating about while it's in here. But there's nowhere far it can go. I'll just plug that back in. There it goes. Minus 13. You can open the lid and it has a light when it's plugged in as well. So, ice lollies all round. What I'll also do, I'll turn the fridge on as well, just to show the power draw with them both going. So, that's the fridge turned on. We've now got 1.4 amp on start up, with a compressor starting settling down to again quite a low reading so that's with a compressor fridge and a compressor freezer going now just to show you it's on even though it's empty that's it seat all back in place freezer down there working away quite happily ice lollies all round Right, that's freezer all done. I've hardwired it in now to the uh, 24 volt fuse box, so that is now all good to go. And our friends Paul and Susan will be very happy to know that iced coffee will be available at the next meetup with Fidget out and about. So the, so the next thing that I'm just quickly going to talk about is we put a three home broadband router into the bus. And the reason we've done this, we ditched the landline broadband that we had at home and went with the three unlimited data home broadband on a two-year contract for £21 a month and the advantage of this being that we can have it at home and when we're out in the bus we can take it with us and it works equally as well in the bus as it did in the house. I have got a antenna coming that I've ordered, a pointing antenna that I will be fitting on the outside of the bus to help with the signal if we're in a bit of a poor area and at the moment that's it the story so far i will shortly be doing a full bus tour video so i can show you everything that we've done and what we have and what we haven't got so see you all soon bye for now